in this video we are going to be looking at point of view now just look at the visual before we go into the technicality of it i'm sure you have used this phrase very often in your life right that oh my point of view may not be the same as yours or i have a different point of view right um, our points of view don't match right so what does that mean point of view is the way you look at things the way we perceive things and reality is different for different people right so if you look at these two people in the picture you will see that one of them is looking at the scene from the balcony from the balcony where she is standing and the other one is standing on the ground and he is looking at the same scene so obviously there will be a difference in how each of them perceives reality or perceives what is happening in front of them now just use this scene as a metaphor metaphor as in just to transfer it to other situations in life right that point of view refers to the opinion or feelings of people who are involved in a situation or who have certain opinions and feelings about things that are happening uh, of maybe about other situations which they are not a part of okay in literature the mode of narration which the author employs is often the point of view right now points of view could be there could be the subjective point of view where the author uses i to insert the subject in the narrative so for example you have this poem by william wordsworth daffodils i'm sure you have read it and studied it um in your uh, previous year right uh, or somewhere uh, before uh, you uh, uh, somewhere during school or junior college so here the poet is inserting his subjectivity and the Uh, there's a there's an overlap between the poet and the narrator and he and he, there are just two lines which i am using over here he says i gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought so here the narrator is talking about his experiences directly he's expressing he's sharing his point of view that how much uh, joy the daffodils had brought to him so that's his point of view right the author's point of view or the poet's point of view or the narrator's point now in the second instance you will see is the second person point of view where uh in uh, this is an excerpt from bright lights big city and it says you are not the kind of guy who would be at a place like this at this time of the morning but here you are and you cannot say that the terrain is entirely unfamiliar although the details are fuzzy now uh here the author refrains from using the first person subject that is i or we right the focus instead is on you so there is an attempt to involve the reader over here so this is the second person point of view and it can be very engaging when the author is directly trying to address the reader the reader, reader also starts uh, yeah big starts to feel that he or she is a part of the narrative right or the story that is unfolding so this is the second person now let's look at the third person point of view uh this is an excerpt from pride and prejudice by jane austen where austen says uh, so this is the third person narrator telling a story now this is a very traditional kind of uh, point of view where uh, you know most stories are written like this so you have here the third person we call them omnipresent narrator right they seem to be present everywhere they seem to know all about what's going on with in people's minds and what is going to happen what has happened right so that's why they're called omnipresent almost like god so when jane and elizabeth were alone now see this is the third person point of view so uh, th there are names here Jane and Elizabeth were alone the former who had been cautious in her praise of Mr Bingley before expressed to her sister how very much she admired him so here the narrator is giving us an insight into the sister's intimate conversation about a man so it's as if the narrator is present in the same room 
as where they are having their conversation and the narrator is conveying to us how uh, uh, Jane is, uh, Jane who had been careful about her praise, now that she was alone with her sister, she could speak more freely and she, uh, she expressed her opinion about Mr. Bingley which was all very positive, right? So this is the third person point of view. Now, what is the function of a point of view? You might be wondering that how does it make a difference whether it's in the first person or second person or third person? So, well, first of all, it's an integral tool of description and it can portray personal emotions or characters, feelings about an experience or a situation. So, if, uh, say, it's told from the first person point of view, uh, you have a direct access to what the character is feeling, the character's emotions. Now, let me give you an example uh, of how point of view is uh, used in the case of films. So, there's this very interesting film called Vantage Point, uh, which was released in the year 2008. And you will see the plot is around the assassination attempt. The, and an attempt has been made to assassinate the president of the United States but it is told through various vantage points. So everyone has a different story to tell because everyone has seen it happening, seen the attempted assassination from their point of view. So the reality which they know hmm, is, so the reality which X knows because X was standing at the entrance of say a building and the reality which Y knows because Y was probably uh, 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 the bodyguard and the reality which Z knows because Z was standing on the rooftop. So all these realities, all these people have their own points of view because they are standing, they are looking at the scene from different uh, positions, right? And reality appears to them. Uh, the reality which each of them expresses is very different from the reality of the other person. So it's a very interesting movie. If you can watch it, do watch it. And that is, uh, so in this movie, this is how point of view has been uh, used as a tool to show how, in fact, even in life, uh, when it comes to situations, we all have different points of view because we are probably analyzing or looking at the situation from the place where we are standing, right? So we will have a different perspective.